The eruption which started in the early hours of the morning uh, yesterday is actually now subsided significantly. It was after I predicted, based on this interferometrogram that shows the movement of the magma, that uh, the next eruption will happen to the north. We had the earthquake storm, which actually encouraged the movement of the magma as a known neutronic fluid. It needs earthquakes to flow, and then we had the eruption. The eruption was beautiful in a huge area, two kilometers and slightly more. It had several fissures and it extended toward the north further and mostly flowing toward the Fergadestal area to the east and north. And as you can see here, I have shown you the extent of it suddenly. It was probably one of the most uh, smallest one, but thickest probably in the sense. And now at the moment, the eruption is significantly reduced. We don't see it. This is the earliest in the town and we have several craters visible on those ones. At the moment, we have only 10 craters erupting still, and the weather is getting a little bit better. All the visibility is bad because of the pollution from the gases and the burning of the moss wildfires. And this is spreading around toward the north and probably toward the UK and the Northern Europe. We can see that. Of course, people in the Grindavik were evacuated, although they were further from the eruption site, but the Blue Lagoon was kept open. So for half an hour, there was a protest in front of the Blue Lagoon on the road, uh, which leads to the Grindavik toward the north. Also, the decisions, it seems, that were not based, some people say, on the reality. Uh, earthquake numbers have reduced significantly and uh, we can see that most of it was to the north area as I predicted. This is the latest update by the Icelandic Meteorological Office as you can see here and uh, uh, sulfur dioxide pollution remains high for tomorrow even for the green it stays high and uh, there will be next update. I will keep you updated on that. Whatever is written here, I've already talked about it for you and demonstrated with the figures, numbers, maps, and everything. So uh, we have to wait and see. This eruption will develop as the other eruptions have developed. We will see formation of the lava tubes and then significant eruption, then sudden decline in the number of the eruptions.